quote, now is the time, end quote. You look around, you'll see those words being used more and more in this country, and it will surprise you exactly who is using them. I'll say it again for you so you can listen for it. Quote, now is the time, end quote. See, our forefathers were escaping from tyranny. They were escaping from religious persecution. They were escaping from persecution by kings and queens and despots. They were escaping from British Freemasonry. They were escaping from what was taking hold on the continent which caused the French Revolution, which eventually became known as socialism. You see, Marx didn't invent socialism. It's been a long, long time before he came along. He just put it into words. He wrote down the tenets of socialism. There's a battle going on underground between power groups. And there are four main groups, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not going to go into that tonight because I've done it many, many times. I want to talk about the NEA tonight, the National Education Association. The watchwords of the French Revolution were liberty, equality, and fraternity. By liberty was meant license to do your own thing. Morality, rebelling against authority. By equality was not meant equal opportunity, but a leveling of the masses under philosopher kings, an elite, including educational, who through social engineering would shape a socialistic society. And by fraternity was not meant a brotherhood based upon the Holy Bible or based upon the kinship of human beings, but rather a humanistic brotherhood based upon what all ethical systems have in common, headed by a master race who consider themselves to be the only truly mature minds in the world, and the other races and the masses of people are the children to be taken care of by these these councils of wise men, they call themselves. It's about time the American people started being American people. And the first thing that you have to do to become a real American citizen is to become educated. You cannot be an American citizen if you are ignorant. You cannot be an American citizen if you don't even know what that means. You cannot be an American citizen if you have not read the writings of the Founding Fathers because if you haven't read those writings, then you have no idea what their intention was, why they wrote what they wrote, why the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are what they are, why they even went to war against England to found this country. If you don't know those things, you cannot call yourself an American. If you don't own a copy of the Constitution for the United States of America, you have no understanding of this government, what it is, what it's restricted to, and what powers it has. You have no idea what powers you have or your state has. You have no idea what your rights are and how they are protected by the Constitution for the United States of America and the Bill of Rights. And unless you read the amendments that were made subsequent to the passage of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, you have no idea how they may have been changed and eroded or, in some cases, strengthened. If you don't possess, if you don't own a copy of the Constitution for the United States of America, if you don't understand it and you can't quote from memory what's in it, there is no way in the world, ladies and gentlemen, that you can call yourself an American citizen. At best, you're just an ignorant person stumbling around, bumping into trees and wondering why. How'd that get there? I never saw it before. 
Or you're one of these people who are always spouting off about your constitutional rights when you don't even know what they are. Never read the Constitution in your life and don't even understand that you don't have any constitutional rights. You have creator-endowed rights recognized and protected by the Constitution for the United States of America, the Bill of Rights, and the amendments thereto. If you don't know those things, you are a slave to whoever knows enough to convince you what to think about what you have or what you don't have. 